What's good, Tarot Tribe? It's the Priest, and I'm back with another Pick a Card reading. In today's reading, we're going to be looking at exactly where you will be one year from watching this video. So this is a timeless video. It doesn't matter exactly when you are watching this. It's just going to be a reading based on exactly where you are and where you can expect to be one year from now. So if you guys are new to the channel, don't forget to subscribe to become a part of the tribe down below. Hashtag the Tarot Tribe for those of you who have been with me from the jump. I love you guys so much. You literally are like a piece of me. Like I can't explain it. Like we are one. So I'm really, really happy and excited for the next year to come. I feel really, really big changes. If you guys are looking for any information as far as booking a reading or finding out how to awaken your power or ascend to your highest self you can find all that information down below or my website thetarotpriest.com and last but not least if you're looking for off the grid readings you can find that at thetarotchest.com where i post secret exclusive off the grid readings you can find that at thetarotchest.com all right, if you guys are here, I'm excited to get into it. We have four different decks that you can choose from. Again, if you guys are looking, you can find your chapter down below or your pinned comment for exactly the deck that's calling towards you. I'm also feeling this weird feeling that maybe you guys are going to be drawn to two. And so when you are honing in on that question and you're really feeling the energy of that question, which deck is calling towards you? And if it is two, feel free to watch both videos. Again, you can find the timestamp in the pinned comment down below or your chapter down below. We have deck number one deck number two, deck number three, and deck number four. Again, the message is where will you be one year from now? All right, if you guys chose deck number one, this is your reading and where you will be one year from now. Who you're becoming is Maya, beloved Zeus, lovers. This cosmic union is destined for greatness. So you guys definitely could have been resonating with this rose quartz stone because you are going to be embracing and also attracting more love into your life. This could also be partnerships in your life. I'm definitely feeling one year from now, there will be more meaningful unions that were just destined. You'll feel like they got put in your path for a reason. You're not sure exactly how, but I just see that there's something here that's destined for greatness and it is coming from your heart chakra man holding a coin three of pentacles i am ready to love and learn so some of you guys could definitely be going back to school within the next year i mean it doesn't have to be that you're going back to school traditionally but you could be getting into some online school you could be taking a class or a course that could definitely excel you in something that you're doing some of you could be graduating i definitely see there's there's scholar here i'm hearing scholar so within the next year i'm definitely seeing that people are going to be giving you more support support even with wanting to help out when it comes to some of the things that you want to achieve in this life i do see that you're going to have more support there financially a lot more support financially is what i'm seeing let's see why the higher font is here you could be a taurus you don't have to be but that's a sign that i'm picking up why is the higher font here thank you the lovers in reverse so yeah you could have had a challenging time finding good partnerships this could be in business this can be in relationship this can be in friendship we also have the tower we have gemini energy we have scorpio energy i definitely feel like there's going to be a decision that's made in your life that's going to affect you financially let's look at their finances within the next year for deck one thank you we have the king of pentacles thank you so yeah your finances are going to improve drastically within the next year drastically Okay, so some of you could have experienced a tower moment even in your relationships or your financial status. So I'm seeing if you guys chose deck number one, there's going to be a lot of changes practically in your life. You could be moving, you could be relocating, you could be joining a new job. Some of you could be starting an entrepreneurship endeavor. There's many, many, many different energies here. Some of you could be expanding. I'm seeing there's going to be something that sparks and ignites you energetically within the next year. I'm seeing whatever was falling apart was meant to fall apart. And I'm seeing that it's falling into place with removing who is not in alignment with your dreams 
and assistance. Like I'm just seeing that you're going to be manifesting more reciprocity in your life. So that just means people giving to you just as you are giving unto them. Okay, so I do see more support that's coming in here. A lot of practical changes, but I definitely see some of you are going to have a change even when it comes in your relationships. Okay, so the good news is, is that I'm seeing the king of pentacles over here. Okay, which is really good. And I'm also seeing the ten of pentacles. Some of you could be deepening your connection with someone in marriage. I'm hearing for those of you who are in a relationship, you could be deepening the commitment. There will be more of a commitment here. Okay, those of you who, because we have the devil here. In the next year, I really see some changes in your finances, learning a lot more on how to invest. So I do see that you're going to become a scholar of practical things, financial things. Something's going to spark your interest. I'm going to get some more information on that. We have Aries energy in reverse. We have light and love, we have healer, and we have receptivity. I said re reciprocity, reciprocity, I believe it is. So we have receptivity, okay? I am definitely seeing in the next year, you are going to be receiving more downloads about your purpose and what you're here to do. I see that you're waking up to your purpose. You could have been focused a lot on your practical things, your finances, and now I'm seeing that that is changing. You're gonna be focusing more on your purpose, love. Okay, let's just get some clarity on why the lovers is here. Because that came up twice. We have, why is the lovers in reverse? Thank you. Ten of Wands. Okay, some of you in the next year, if you're in a relationship, huge changes. Okay, huge changes. You're going to know exactly who is here for you. And, and within the next year, you will know if the person that you're with, if you're in a relationship, is the one. I'm seeing many of you are going to be expanding. So the Tower moment is here. So something unexpected is definitely going to be happening. Let's get some information on what that could be for the Tower. Thank you. Okay, it's definitely in your finances. It's going to cause you to have to make a decision so that you can get on track with more stability and also more masculine energy here with the emperor not being afraid to go after what it is that you want financially. Let's just clarify. Yeah, lots of changes in your finances. Deck number one, if you guys chose this. I'm seeing that finances is an important part of love. Finances is a resource that helps you express yourself. Finances are a resource that help you express your vision, your projects, your experience here on earth, your evolution. Okay, so I'm seeing that there is a connection here with abundance and love. It could be a lifestyle. Let's just see what's happening in their finances. Yeah. So it could be an opportunity, a job change. Something is definitely coming in that's going to be offering you more financial stability. I see a lot more. So wherever you are now, within the next year, you are going to be very stable. Okay, so that's something I'm seeing too. We have the nine of wands. Some of you guys could be very exhausted from just the financial situation I'm seeing, trying to figure it out here because we even have the five of pentacles. Let's see why that's here. Okay, just wor being worried about how things are going to work out for you financially. I'm definitely seeing that you will be walking away from something that is no longer serving you financially. And again, it could be a home, could be a job, whatever it is. It could even be a relationship that you're re-questioning and considering based on finances. Again, because this is all connected. Okay, what else can they expect to happen for the neck within the next year? Seven of Wands, yeah. So you're gonna have a huge breakthrough. So that's really good to hear. Now, bringing together this healing energy, we have the Queen of Cups in reverse. So that's the Queen of Hearts in reverse. I'm definitely sensing there is a higher level of spirituality that you're gonna be taken to within the next year. Um, and, and honestly, the spirituality is just seeing more of your masculine energy. And that is having more confidence and leadership in your finances, in making decisions, understanding that you are in control. You are in authority. There you go. Of what you desire to manifest. 
Let's see why the healer is here. Okay, you're waking up to a healing gift that you have. Some of you could definitely be healers and there are many, many different ways you can heal. Many different ways. You can do it through sound. You can do it through words. You can do it through touch. You can do it through holistic care. You could be, again, a healing. We think of traditional healing, but I'm definitely sensing it says you have the spiritual gift of healing and a desire to share it with the world. So there's something that you're going to wake up to that has to do with your purpose and connecting to healing energy. And this is also attached to your financial increase that I'm seeing. Your purpose is to bring divine healing light and love to this world. So we have healing here twice. So it might be a project that you're going to start in the next year that brings you some type of financial support. We also have Virgo energy. Don't overthink this. You know, don't don't become a perfectionist of this. Just enjoy and explore your passions within the next year because I do see that it's bringing you to a not just a soulmate. Even if you're with someone, it's going to reveal whether or not you're with your true love. But I'm also sensing that your your true purpose, your true desire, why you want to be here. And so the judgment card is here. So you're going to go through a spiritual awakening. I'm sensing within the next year. And this awakening is going to help you discover more of who you are and your dream. So it's like a soulmate and a soul dream. And the way that they are kind of hugging each other, I, I see that, yes, there's two people, but I'm also seeing that you have this connection with your dream. Like there's a dream that's connected to you. Um, that's been a calling on your life for a long, long time. And I do feel like in the next year, it's going to be revealed you will have a breakthrough in finances. I am seeing more support, but be open to how it's going to come to you. Sometimes when we try to control exactly how our finances or the person or this thing or this item is coming to us, we actually block it because we are resisting it. Now, questioning it is one thing, but doubting it is another. And that's something that you're learning. I do see that you will be desiring to have more you're going to be expanding. That's what the spiritual awakening is about. Even if you feel like you have a lot, there is more for you to obtain. And I'm seeing that it could definitely be a luxurious lifestyle. This could be more of a lifestyle that requires more of a financial appetite. I mean, we have a lot of money on the table. Let's just be real here. Okay. So we have a lot of practical energies on the board, but it seems like it's been challenging. I guess you can say balancing maybe a relationship or your love life and your finances. Um, let's just see what these last messages were. We have Scorpio energy, two of cups, four of cups. Okay. Some of you are definitely waiting for a life partner or a soulmate to come in. I'm definitely hearing that spirit is saying that you're learning how to find this happiness within yourself so that you can attract this person. I do see that someone is coming in. Okay, a true soulmate, whether they're here or they're arriving is what I'm getting. They're either here or they're arriving and you will know. So the tower moments come to wake us up to the truth that we've been oblivious to. Okay, I'm not going to get too much into to the preaching here, but I'm just saying this is what it's all about. The tower happens because it, it's out of our control. And so um, what I can give you for the next year of guidance is to follow your intuition and follow that inner voice. Okay, so let go of what is ending so that you can embrace this new beginning. And I know you guys love to hear letting go, but letting go should be more fun because then we realize we're getting closer to receiving. So I'm definitely sensing that there is a lot that you're going to learn within the next year about yourself. And I can't wait to hear you guys come back and tell us all about it. So if you guys resonated with deck number one, don't forget to comment down below so that you can comment and connect with other people who may be resonating with the same deck as you. And if you're looking for off the grid readings, you can find them at the tarotchest.com. In the meantime, I'm going to move on to deck number two. All right. If you guys chose deck number two, this is your reading in where you will be one year from now or what you can expect one year from now, who you're becoming. You're becoming the Athusa sun goddess lift up. I open my senses to feel delicious pressure and passion. 
So this card definitely is resonating with me when it comes to creative energy, a lot of sacral chakra, a lot of solar plexus chakra energy is what I'm getting here. This is all about knowing yourself on a deeper level. So you guys could have definitely been attracted to more than one deck here. I'm seeing you could have been attracted specifically with the blue deck, but I'm definitely feeling that you're becoming more brighter and you're going to have either a glow up or you're going through this self transformation and discovery of just how great you are. So this is going to really spice up your life. I see in the next year, your life is going to be definitely spiced up. I hear glow up, I hear lift off. I feel like something is taking off for you within the next year. I see that you're opening your senses so that you can be more aware and you've come a long way. So that's something that I'm hearing as well. The 10, I see that you're closing out a cycle. Okay, so you could have already closed it or you are coming to this place of closing it. But this is all about your willpower. And the more you know yourself, the more power you have. And so this is about knowledge of self. Okay, knowledge of self, self-discovery, and all in all, what does that do? It creates this creative energy, this burst of just feeling like you have to share something. So I do see that there's a lot of pleasure and a lot of passion in the next year for you. So that's really, really cool. So let's see what else that's about. Because again, it's all what I'm, wow, the sun card. Are you kidding me, deck two? Wow, you guys are going to have a really bomb year. We have justice, we have the sun, and then we have the moon in reverse. So the biggest thing that you're learning here, all major arcana cards, okay? That tells me that this is a huge spiritual revelation that's happening in your life, and all that matters is your joy. We have Pisces energy, we have Libra energy, we have Leo energy. So there's a lot of balance that you're going to be learning in the next year. And I do see it could be with chakra work. Maybe you guys will get into that. But the biggest thing I'm seeing is just this orange, creative, expressive energy that you're going to really be tapping into within the next year. So there's still more that you don't know about yourself with the moon in reverse, um, more of your gifts, more of your intuition, more of understanding how you're attracting certain things, certain people, certain circumstances into your life. You're learning how to follow the truth in your life. You're learning how to speak the truth. And, and you're doing it, you may have been doing it for others, but now you're learning to do this for yourself. You're learning to find this joy, the joy generator. That's what I'm feeling. Like you're just generating this joy for yourself, but there's more for you to uncover about who you are subconscious, even subconsciously. Some of the things you do, is it because it's just what you do or is it because it's just truly who you are? You know, there's going to be a lot of things up for question as far as are you being true to yourself? Um, yeah, this is really, really cool. So you're going to be going through a spiritual, I, I want to say discovery, transformation. Let's see what else the energy per pertains to attachment. Okay. Source. Yeah. You're learning how to generate joy for yourself. Um, let me see. We have patience here. Some of you are trying to create something, give it time. You know, we are so used to rushing. I mean, pretty soon we might be able to rush the actual pregnancy process with how crazy technology is, but that's not always a good thing. You know, even with growing your own plants and some of these, um, what is it that I have like this arrow garden? It pretty much just grows your plants in 14 days. It's not natural basically. And so when we think about just the process of how long a tree or a plant takes, or a baby takes to bake, we realize there's a reason for patience. There's development happening. And if we skip a stage, we could skip a stage in your development process. So you are learning more about yourself, but don't rush it in the next year. You have this like project or idea or something that you want to create and source is working with you. The sun is working with you. And all I'm here to do is really give you confirmation for where you, cause I feel like you may have already had a vision for what you want and where you want to go within the next year and I'm definitely sensing that this is going to be revealed to you in some type of revelation. We have family. 
we have animals. So loving your family and friends is central to your life purpose. So you are definitely part of a soul tribe or you are definitely part of a community. You are not meant to be alone. So those of you, I mean, there's a difference between being an individual right? Having your own individual happiness and then being alone physically. Well, I'm definitely seeing that you're detaching from some people that there could have been some codependency things there. And that usually comes from our own family. So if there have been certain attachments, or I guess you can say obligations that you've had on people around you, family, some type of attachment, um, you're learning to be open to new. You're learning to be open to family, the feeling of family and not the title, the label, the obligation. So there's a new way of seeing family and what I'm sensing family is because, I mean, we haven't even gotten to the tarot, but your guides are, I don't know if they've been waiting to communicate with you this message, but I do see that you're on the right path. You're birthing and you're creating an entire new reality for yourself. Deck number two. And you're doing this in a very fast time, but I'm sensing that spirit wants you to slow down. And I'm also feeling that you are meant to be around people like you are meant to attract yourself in others but some of the people around you maybe are not there yet that you wait and spend more time waiting for them to get it together and you're not really putting your energy and focus elsewhere so that's usually when it's the dependency thing what's going on in family for deck two within the next year Okay, we have the nine of swords. So yeah, you're not going to be really stressed about stressed out or be stressed out around the people that you're around now. So I don't see that you're going to have sleepless nights or worry or be up kind of contemplating on the relationships that you do have. Mm, there's something deeper here. What's going on with family? It's like feeling deserving, feeling enough. None of this matters on the outside. It it matters what it feels for you. Waiting to get someone's approval before you can feel that exchange of love. I'm not exactly sure what it is, but there's something here that you will be healing within the next year so that you can receive more people to your family. Because family is a feeling and it feels like home. But home is not a place. We have Leo energy. We have cancer energy. Home is a feeling. And you will have that feeling with the right people. So your your family is changing. That's something I'm getting to. And you're also going to be connecting with animals. We'll see what that's about. Why is animals here for the next year? So some of you guys could get an animal, um, want to share or have compassion for animals. This could definitely open you up to more of your emotional side even with your family this is all about like healing the heart heart chakra where does your joy come from and if your joy has always come from home there's a big feeling of home here you could be a light worker you don't have to be i definitely see that you're finding your way back home in the next year and i do see that you're going to attract family real family family real family feels like someone you've known forever lifetimes you've met them before but you don't know how there's no blood no dna relative it's just strictly the feeling of family that's what you're working towards but not getting caught up on the attachment of the word family because then we're like you're our, you're my family you're my family we expect people to play that role we have the obligation you're my family you're my family but your family you will not have to remind them like your true soul tribe your family that you're here to meet in this lifetime you will not have to remind them that they are family, you will feel it. And so something that can help you within the next year that opens yourself up to receiving more, which is new friendships and and removing the trigger of feeling like you can get hurt, letting go of regret. We have a lot of fives here on the board. Let go of what needs to, let go of what is too heavy to carry in the next year you're doing. Okay, we have the strength card. So you're definitely, but something is on a halt here. Let's get, why is the cherry in reverse? What's on hold? Something's on hold. That's why they're asking for patience. Something that's that needs to end. I'm seeing something needs to close. A cycle needs to close. What is this about for deck two? Yeah, 10 of cups. This could be a relationship. This could also be family again. 10 of cups in the star. Wow, 
wow, something needs to end, something needs to close. And the next year you are attracting family, literally, <laughs> you might be creating a, you might be on the verge of creating a family, um, or building a family and the star card is here. We have Aquarius energy. So this definitely feels like a wish come true, but it, and now from then spirit is saying really to trust really to trust the outcome of these situations that you're walking away from because you are on the verge of manifesting real and true. Those are the two words I keep hearing. Truth, but real and truth, which is why it's important for you to always follow the truth and speak the truth so that you can also attract that. So your connection with animals is helping you trust your inner guidance and it's a part of your life's work so i definitely feel when you think of family you think of animals this is what's opening up your heart chakra to more so if you're worried about finances i see an opportunity coming in for you okay because i do see the worry here with the five of pentacles let's clarify why is the five of pentacles here for the next year Thank you. Three of pentacles. So some of you may not feel like you have support. Again, family, support, friendships, people to help. People see the vision, people that see you. You are currently in the process of attracting that. In order to do that, you must let go of what is not that. Who is not that? Who are not that? Because they're in the way. And, and the thing with letting go is I know I'm really going to have to start talking more about this understanding of letting go because... It doesn't have to feel so hard every time. And that's where the trust comes in. And I'm sensing that you're not necessarily letting go as much as you are making room for this beautiful love family, this beautiful relationship connection that you are attracting here. And I'm sensing that you will know what you need to detach yourself from. And how will they know? Give us a clue. Give us a clue on what what how would they would know what their attachment was okay now if it's a personality card this will be a person okay that's the page that's the knight that's the king queen if it is not we'll look at if it's a major arcana card this will be something that maybe you're not seeing spiritually and if it's not then it will be a practical thing so justice this is something spiritual this is karmic so you are releasing karmic cycles so that you can attract real and true family, love, and joy. And the more you cut off or detach from this goddess-like version of yourself, the more you are flourishing. So this justice, this is a Libra, so it could definitely still be someone that you have a karmic connection with, could be a family member, could be a friend and it could be relationships. So I'm definitely sensing a lot of that is changing here. And it's not a coincidence because we do have source here. I would like to see this as like the root chakra or the foundation of things when it comes to just the sacral and the root chakra I'm seeing, because we have a lot of red here as well. And this has to do with your relationships. So I do see that you will get justice. You will get justice, but you, will be required to be truthful to yourself. Is this making me happy? Are they making me happy? Is this, you know, et cetera. We have justice twice here. So you're clearing karmic cycles within the next year. The last card, four of pentacles. Let's clarify why that's here. Why is the four of pentacles here? You're learning how to release money, to be open to spending, so that it can flow back to you 10 times fold. There's many, many, many things that you are learning here, but I'm sensing that it is taking time for it to unfold, to be patient, to allow this to this offer to come in for you that's going to allow you more finances. Let's get one more card on your finances for deck two in the next year. Okay, we have the page of pentacles. So yeah, we do have two pages. So I'm sensing that there is going to be an opportunity here that expands, but not to rush it. 
Okay, don't get ahead of yourself. Work your way up. The page is like a child. So it works its way up to the night. So you're in the beginning stages of building financial security for yourself. Some of you could become entrepreneurs or be entrepreneurs or want to start an endeavor of bringing in more finances for yourself, but it's causing you to have to release, be open to it's like what do you want you want your money to be so open and flowing that it just comes correct it's the same way when you give when you put out you want to be what you are attracting therefore if you want to attract freedom flowing abundance you must feel free and flowing when you are spinning your abundance right so you're learning how to mirror exactly what it is that you want so you can attract what it is that you want so i'm hoping that this gave you guys some clarity if you guys are looking for some off the grid exclusive readings you can find that at the tarot chest in the meantime don't forget to comment down below come back in a year let us know what happened and uh, share your experience with others down below also they may be resonating with your message all right i'm gonna move on to deck number three all right, if you guys chose deck number three, this is your reading and what you can expect or where you will be one year from now. And let's see. Well, the first thing I'm noticing is that your elephant is missing a leg. So you guys definitely could have went through a lot. But what I'm feeling is that it's not for a reason. I'm feeling very strongly that you are an overcomer, that you have been through a lot, that you are the phoenix rising through the ashes. And I feel very strongly without even seeing the cards that you are going to be reaping a lot of your rewards within the next year. So let's see who you're becoming. The priestess in body. I am an embodiment of the divine feminine. So yes, this is true. You're not crazy. You do have a gift of awareness, a gift of intuition. And now within the next year, I do see you're going to be embodying this part of you, this version of you. The priestess is also known as the divine feminine. So this is the nurturing, compassionate side, the loving side, the nurturing side. What you'll be overcoming is a rebirth. So you're definitely closing a cycle, ending a cycle. This could even affect your identity. I'm definitely feeling like what you look like could be changing in the next year. You could be trying something new. This rebirth that you're going through feels kind of like a death. A tra it could feel like a death, a tragedy, an ending. Um, you know, those moments where we're like, why? Like those moments, this is, you know, when a rebirth is occurring. And so you are becoming a lion. I mean, you're, this is what I'm feeling already off of these two cards. You're becoming this lion. The greater version of you is emerging. Energy healing. Your natural energy healing abilities are an important part of your life purpose. So you definitely are here to work with energy. You are connected to energy. You feel energy. I definitely feel like you see energy, you know energy, you are energy. These are some of the affirmations with just the chakra aligning. So you're becoming, it's like every version of you, in a sense, huge, huge rebirth here. Now let's see what the energy, wow. Wow, crown chakra, seventh chakra. Within the next year, you will have had in a, a revelation that will change your life forever. Four, 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 just the number four could be important to you in the number one. I always like to see the four and the ones as like a gate into the fourth dimension with 1144. Uh, that's something that I like to see. When I see these numbers, I feel like you're going to have a huge spiritual revelation that wakes you up, even her crown is lit when you scan your energy you will see what your energy looks like in real life after you have had a huge revelation this revelation is happening about yourself it is also happening about the abilities that you do have you may have heard many tarot readers tell you this before you may have even heard me tell you this before so you are going to hear from the universe within the next year this is through dreams. I always like to say truth is the closest that we can get to the voice of the universe, the voice of our higher self, etc. So this is going to be a huge revelation for you. Okay. 
huge revelation when it comes to music and what you're here to do, the gifts that you do have. Now the music I'm definitely feeling is connecting to a healing energy. You could even write, you could do poetry, you can do songwriting, you can even really just be a connoisseur of music and you could be being dragged into the field of energy music because that's what music is, it's energy. It's exactly what it is. A bunch of energy put together. Now, if you have the right artists, you can really, really, really heal people with the right words. You, deck three, could have the right words. We will see what part you play in the next year. We have courage. So you would have to really have the courage to do what? Not just go after your dreams. That's just, that's what everyone says, right? Yeah, have the courage to go after your dreams. Have the courage to be yourself, 100%. To show yourself, to reveal yourself. Have the courage to see the greatness in you without the doubt. Can you see your light without questioning it, without the doubt? Can you just see that light? In the next year, you're definitely going to have this. We're having this awakening, but I'm also feeling you could be a Lib uh, Libra or a Leo. Those are the two that I'm picking up. You could be. We have another four here, family. So this is something that you could definitely be resonating with another deck Okay, because we talked a lot about family foundation. So that's something I'm going to look into for you. We also have Aquarius energy. I am inspired and positive about the future. So yes, also have the courage to go after your dreams. And as much as that becomes a cliche, just know it is the truth. Have the courage to go after your dream because once you obtain one dream, it gets bigger. You start to expand. Some of you could definitely, definitely be meant to be well known, be meant to have content, be a content creator, be seen. Um, and yeah, I definitely feel like you are attracting people who are going to give you the energy you've been giving to the world. Some of you could definitely be tarot readers and even other YouTube channel tarot readers. And I just want to say thank you so much for all of the work you do, even if you're not a tarot reader. And that part isn't resonating with you, but you do watch a lot of tarot because you're here. Just know that all of this work, even if it's listening and absorbing the truth, changes the frequency of the world. So I just wanted to say that you are a star here and you are here to embody. And, and maybe you guys are just now getting a peek into who you are. But I'm feeling for a majority of you, you see the light in you. And now it's having the courage to be yourself and you have this beautiful connection with source, with your in in instincts, your intuition. You walk with the shamans. You walk with the angels. I love it. You are connected, deck number three, so connected that the words and the feelings you get from the universe, you could share that over music and not even with music and be healing energy to many, could be inspiring energy to many because you're inspiring the hell out of me, that's for sure. All right, we have the Knight of Wands. So yeah, I, I believe deck number one, you could have been resonating with this. We talk a lot. Uh, you know what? I believe it's deck two. You could have been resonating with deck two and deck one, but deck two, because I'm sensing there's a lot of energy here, creative energy, passion. So there are gonna be decisions that come and sometimes we feel like decisions are bigger than they are and they're not. Every decision is the same, but to us, it affects us differently. Like, no, this is the biggest decision of my life. I swear, tarot priest, right. And then there will be another big decision. But I'm feeling that if you can just see that the best decision is going to be what you're passionate about, you would save a lot of time worrying and doubting and wondering if you chose the right decision if you just simply follow your heart what does that look like right because we hear that a lot and following your heart looks like going after your passions without talking yourself out of them all the way even if it sounds crazy even if the dream sounds crazy somebody has to be here to inspire you to expand and even myself i have to be expansive to give this message to you and so forth and so forth you have the ability to believe, you have the ability to imagine, to put an intention, to have faith. These are all ingredients. You're learning to be a magician. 
from this, I do see that luxury, abundance, having more, and it might not even be for you, it could be for others, is a desire that you have. You have a desire to obtain more financially. Let's see why the Nine of Pentacles is here. Has the Nine of Pentacles here? Nine of Pentacles. Thank you. Wow. Six of Wands, victory. In the next year, you are going to claim victory. And something that you have figured out, something that you have mastered, the Wheel of Fortune, the wheel is in your favor. Your guides are on your side. You, I mean, you got the whole damn heavens behind you is what I would say, because I was saying you walk with shamans, you walk with guides, but it's really true here. I'm seeing that you could even walk with ancestors. They are all guiding you in the direction of your inspiration. What inspires you? Not what do you believe you have to do? And it changes all the time. And that's okay. It's okay to change your desires and passions, but one passion will lead you to the next. So I am seeing victory. I am seeing success, public recognition, six of wands that just confirms the fame, well-known people seeing you. And I do see that you are breaking out of the box of what even people believe you are. So that's requiring you to, to go through a rebirth. Let's see why this King of Cups is in reverse. Why is the King of Cups here? Thank you. Knight of Cups, okay? Okay, let's go ahead and get another one. Because I'm sensing that this is about your love life, your relationships, okay? I believe everyone within the next year is going to have a huge transition in their relationships okay a huge transition in their relationships so this feels good i'm definitely sensing that within the next year you're going to be learning more when it comes to your emotions i want to kind of say just being a human some of you can definitely feel like doing things that everyone else does is a challenge for you because you're meant to do something else and that's definitely true here i'm seeing that you're meant to inspire other people but you must first take this journey through inspiration so that others can witness and then become inspired. So the more that you share, the more abundance you will have is what I'm feeling. So your relationships, I'm sensing like to give the wheel to God at this point, because <laughs> um, even if you're in a relationship or not, it doesn't matter. I'm sensing that spirits being very clear when it comes to just fo following what's true to you and then allowing you to attract that frequency within another person. And it doesn't matter what role that person plays, it's the same for everything. So I'm sensing the more you embrace yourself and it's also not judging because you are attracting what you're giving, what you are mirroring. And so the more that you can embrace who you are, embody who you are, even if it sounds too great around some people, well, those some people are gonna have to stand back and witness the greatness because that's what I'm seeing, you coming in riding on the horse. So I'm seeing that there's victory. It doesn't matter what other people believe. You must believe it. So there is a need to take a leap of faith here. And this leap of faith is also going to change your relationships. Judgment. Wow. Wow. Six of wands again. There you have it. Fame, recognition. So in the next year, you're definitely going to be receiving more uh, recognition from your peers, from the people around you. And you are also going through a spiritual awakening as well. I believe pretty much within the next year, all of us are going through this evolution with the judgment card here. This would be something that's just destined for you. You can't get away from it if you tried. It'll find you in your 20s, 30s, 40s, 50s, 60s, 80s, 90s when you're 100 it's it's that's how you know what is literally embedded in your soul when it comes to your dreams it's just you can't get away from it it's just always there and i'm talking about a passion now there's more to understand as far as where this passion comes from 
and that's your connection in the crown chakra that's i know okay this is this is opening up to source on another level you are just here to be connected with source i believe a lot of people in the spotlight are are being guided by something greater than themselves universe god whatever they choose to call it they have connected with this energy and have been able to obtain fame from it fame luxury when i say fame it's just recognition because i i don't care for the word fame to be honest it doesn't flatter me as you guys see i have one selfie on my instagram page i'm here to deliver the message okay so that's pretty much what i'm seeing for you as far as the recognition is going whatever this is coming from people see you as a star and you just can't get away from get, get away from it you're great and the more you embody and embrace this the more likely things are going to be happening in your favor but this is acceptance is what i'm seeing mere acceptance of who you are on a greater scale and there's no such thing as great <laughs> because it just keeps getting greater and greater and greater right? That's what I mean by there's no such thing as great. Great is cool, but there's always greater. It doesn't matter who you are. Oprah, Elon Musk, there's always more. We're here to expand way beyond our limits. And even you are here to do that. Okay. So I'm seeing the patience here with the three of wands. What else is here in the next year? Can they expect before we close out? Oh, I love it. Sagittarius energy. Temperance. Yeah coming in union with oneself, coming in union with a twin flame, for those of you, whether you're with them or not, and the high priest, wow. Something that I wanna share with you guys that's really cool if you're still here is, you know when, that, when you're in alignment, when all of the messages say so. Like, you're a high priest, you're here to be a priest, um, and what a priest is, is you're just simply spreading spirituality. And what is spirituality? It's just simply being in tune with your soul, being in tune with your spirit, understanding the spiritual world and sharing the message. It's not as heavy as we make it with some of these words, but you're coming up as a scholar of someone who is intuitively uh, connected. But now you're just learning even more on a level. You even could be a scholar of teaching this. There's just so much and you can, you can teach this through music. You can share spirituality through music. Talking about love is spiritual, you know, talking about peace is spiritual. So there's, there's so much here that I see that you're going to be bringing to the world. I'm even feeling myself teaching you. So I know that whatever you have expertise in, people are going to want to know, well, well, how did you come up with that? And how did you come up with this? And I definitely see that you have many, many gifts here. And so highly, highly spiritual deck. And if you feel like you have not caught up with this version of yourself, you are catching up with this version of yourself within this next year. And that's truly just ascending to your greatest self. So if you guys are looking for that, you can actually find that down below. We did a whole series on extending to our greatest self and what that looks like and what to expect. In the meantime, if you're looking for other exclusive readings, you can find that at thetarotchest.com. I'm going to move on to deck number four. All right, if you guys chose deck number four, this is your reading and where you will be one year from now or what you can expect. Okay, so I'm definitely feeling like a lot of vibrance here. Obviously, if you resonated with this deck, you could have even resonated with two. I would definitely go back and watch another. You are becoming the mystic. I love it. Look at all the blue already. Synchronicity. Love it. So the blue, this is empathic energy. This is also your throat chakra. So this could definitely be speaking up. I'm seeing using your magic more. And the more you ask to see your magic, the more you will see it. And sometimes when you get exactly what you dream or you start seeing things it could feel a little scary at times because we definitely do have more power than we assume and right when we assume the power we have spirit comes and expands it more and shows us even more that we have the more we look into this door the more we see our pow power so i'm seeing in the next year you're becoming a mystic you are becoming more in tune with your magical capabilities so I weave my magic and surrender to the universe. But the biggest thing that I'm getting for you deck four is where does this magic come from? 
right? Where does this magic come from? It comes from the universe, the universe, God, source, whichever you choose, that dwells within us, allowing us to be magical. And also just the universe itself is magical. We think about all of the things that we've still have yet to even explore. There is still 95% of species that are unknown. I mean, I don't know why I'm saying this, but it's just so much to know. And magic is one of them, the spiritual world. You're becoming more magical, okay? We have door to romance, 33. You are attracting a partner, okay? If you already have a partner with the next year, you will know if this is the partner I'm talking about. I'm just gonna describe them and I'll let you decide if it resonates. Okay, we're looking for personality cards. Okay, we already have two queens at the bottom. Whoever this person is that you're attracting is definitely someone who has a boss, someone who knows what they want. Okay, someone who's got their ish together. Okay, we have three, three. So three, three, three could be big. We even have 30 over here. So the threes feel really heavy to me. Three is also expansive, expansion, mother, mother, father, father, child. Okay, so this is expansion. Let's see, deck four, Black Newman. Okay, a lot of you, whoa, that's crazy. I was just thinking of this card. I was like, why didn't they get the white one though? Because it was starting off to be so good. You are definitely going to be going through the dark. I feel like you've already kind of come out of this. Let's see what this Black Newman is for the next year. Why is this here for the next year in reverse? Yeah, you're coming out of that. So we have the two of cups. We have the four of cups. Okay, you're coming out of false relationships. Okay, you're breaking free from relationships that no longer serve you. Two of cups, partnerships that no longer serve you. This can be businesses, anything that has to do with the partnership. Why? For the purpose of joy. As soon as you ask spirit to, to give you joy, as soon as you say, I want to be happy, as soon as you say, I am happy, you become this. And so with the white Newman, this is all about the balance of dark and light, but I'm seeing that the light is having its way in the next year. And that's because you believe more in it. The, the dark is just the unknown. It's fear. It's doubt. It's low frequency things such as shame and guilt. And so the more that you let go of those feelings is the more that you're attracting even your partner in the next year and joy in your next year. As soon as you start embodying joy, it's a wrap because everything that you attract will be joyful. So you are learning so much in the next year. I'm seeing even on a smaller scale and freeing yourself even from certain beliefs about yourself, certain doubts about yourself. Okay, I will heal myself. So I'm feeling in the next year, I mean, you're already coming out of this healing energy. I don't feel like you're gonna be in it for, for long. We do have a lot of swords here. So there's a lot of mental changes that I'm feeling that you're going to experience here. So you can definitely be an air sign. You don't have to be. That's going to be Libra, Gemini, and Aquarius, which I almost forgot. Aquarius is not a water sign. Always have to remember that. So with the eight of swords and the five of swords and the three of swords, and you, you kind of had to go through many different shifts for you to get to this place. So it is definitely worth it. I see that you have definitely been through a lot. We have your heart's desires is what you're going to be obtaining within the next year and a creative expression. We also have what you're going to be going through, which was success. So I see that it's over with. There's no longer a need to hold on to doubt. Let's see where this doubt is coming from within the next year. Oh, relationships and love for some of you with the Ace of Cups. I do see you're attracting someone. If those of you who have been single for some time or maybe have been looking for some time for the right one, I see that there's going to be a huge change coming up in the next year. But it's all predicated on your optimism and your hope. Why is the Two of Cups in reverse for the fourth deck? For what are they attracting in the next year? Two of Cups in reverse. Six of Pentacles. Okay, so you're attracting a job that's going to give you balance, something that's going to pay you what you're worth at something as well that I'm seeing. You're also attracting reciprocation in your relationships. 
if you are evolving and the people around you are not, you are outgrowing them. Some of you may even outgrow a relationship or relationships in your life. Take that how it resonates because you are setting yourself up for joy. So you cannot lie vibrationally when you're not at joy. And if your joy is being outweighed by the lower frequencies that I mentioned earlier, there will be a change, but it's leading you directly to romance. What is this romance about? Six of cups, nine of pentacles. Okay. This is going to be a soulmate that you are manifesting for those of you who are looking those of you who I've could have gotten out of a situation, those of you who are thinking about it with the three of swords, those of you who are going back and forth. Okay, so I'm definitely sensing there's a huge shift in your relationships, but it's coming based on a decision that you've made. So we have the six of cups. This is definitely something that's taking some time to come to you. Let's see what else is here for the next year. The Hierophant. Okay, we have Taurus energy. So with this, I'm definitely feeling like you are manifesting an emperor or an empress in your life. There was more for you to learn about the power that you had when it comes to attracting a soulmate. See, it's different when we want to attract a car or a house. We put it on our vision board, right? Attracting a person is another vibration. So in order to attract that that partner that you're looking for that matches your fly, that matches your high, which is your highest self. It, this person is going to literally be a mirror of you on that same frequency. So you must feel like you are on that frequency. And I'm telling you that if you, if this is resonating with you, as far as the love situation is concerned, even in your relationships, that is because with people, you must be vibrating on the same frequency. So a lot of you with the three of swords, I do see that you've had to let go of certain situations and it's so that you can focus on your heart's desires. It seems like you've been through a lot. When I look at this reading, there are very few optimistic cards here when it comes to just your energy in the next year. And I'm seeing that what that means to me is to let go of what has already happened because you don't want to attract that energy again. So focusing your energy on the past is only going to be beneficial if you want to repeat the past. So you are definitely clearing karmic. You're learning about your magic when it comes to manifesting people. And I do see you are gonna be successful. We do have a Pisces, so you could be a Pisces moon. You don't have to be, or you could just be a Pisces. There's more for you to learn here. Eight of cups seven of swords yeah that fear of betrayal seven of swords walking away in the next year it seems like a lot's going on but it's to get you again to the space of attracting a true life partner let's confirm why the higher font is here okay king of swords in the reverse Let's look at their relationship, love life in the next year, deck four. There you have it. Okay. I knew that that was the case. I had to switch the deck because I've been using most of the cards. We only have a few cards here. Something told me to switch the deck. I see that you guys are definitely attracting an emotional relationship here. Okay. And in order to make room for it, you had to let go of relationships that were not in alignment with who you are. And that's the thing, we're ever evolving. So if we're evolving and the people around us are not, we either have to devolve on that level or we evolve and hope that someday they evolve as well. Evolve just simply means following your joy. Following your joy, e expanding, in knowledge of self of your own successes of what you want even though it sounds complicated it's very very simple there is success here when you focus on what you love with joy you love people i see that but it's the right people you're learning we love everyone right there's no such thing as loving the wrong person in fact that wrong person 
based on our perspective means all the more why they need the love. <laughs> so there's really no person that you don't love. Now, what you're learning though, is giving and deserving and feeling worthy of receiving. So I'm seeing that that's something here that is definitely going to be what you're learning is to receive all of the things that you're asking for, understanding that you deserve that. So your angels are supporting and guiding and protecting you as your dreams become a reality. So you are not doing this alone. You are co-creating with the universe. I say this a lot. Your soul longs to express itself freely and creatively. So we are all creators at the core spiritually. So I'm sensing there's a lot of knowledge you're going to learn about yourself, a lot of knowledge as to why we have power and magic in the first place. So that's really getting in tune with who you are or what you are for that matter, and how you have this connection that allows you to create your reality. And if you want it, you can have it. So you're learning this. So we have the ace of cups in reverse, but then we have the ace of cups in the upright. So there is like this back and forth here in your love and relationships with your own vibration of manifesting it. So if you've been waiting, it's you that's in the way. So in the next year, I'm definitely sensing something new is coming in for you relationship wise. And the next year, what is their heart's desires? The star card, we have Aquarius. So yeah, you are a star. Could have definitely been resonating with another deck. Yeah, I love it. I love it. Okay, we have also Leo energy. You are meant to be seen. There's so much joy coming in your life in the next year. So much joy. We have the sun card here. This is all, and she's working out. So you guys definitely could be feeling good, looking good, um, having like a glow up. I definitely see a lot of people are going through this transformation here and this star card. So there's so much in store for you simply because you're following your heart's desires. Sometimes that means letting go of what is no longer a desire or what no longer is in alignment with desire. So this feels really good. I see that you're gonna be learning more about spirituality as, as well with the higher font. Let's see, anything else for the next year for deck four? Thank you, whoa. The devil at the bottom, we have Capricorn energy. You could be a Capricorn. You don't have to be. Let me take a look at the balance. Spirit is also wanting you to be the pilot of your own plane, not always depending on someone else to drive. And, and the pilot of your own plane is just simply your destiny, right? You're, you're the one driving and you're the one making the decisions based on what you love. And then the Knight of Wands, I'm seeing that the, the worst is behind you, deck four. And all you have to do now is embrace joy, embrace hope, embrace who you truly are, the magic that you do have, the mystical side of you, you know, opening and exploring more of that and using it, have fun with it. You know, when you wake up, you can meditate on how you want your day to go and then work to manifest that. So, you know, this is something that I'm seeing this creative expression that you have helps you with creating your reality. So the more you're able to express yourself in very creative ways, in many different ways, could be through music, could be through energy, could be through color, could be through teaching, speaking, whatever your heart's desire is, it could even be through beauty. There's so many different versions of the universe that lives within us. And so you're learning more about this. All right, let's see. What is the message for deck four when it comes to attracting this new life, this new love? Okay. Wanting more for others puts me into an energy of abundance. So when you think about the people that you want to help, when you think about the money that you give, it is allows us to expand ourselves more. For instance, having people to pay for gives us a reason to attract more abundance. With just ourselves, we think about one person. When we think about manifesting for many people, we, it puts us in an energy of having more than enough, basically is what this card is saying. Instead of worrying about the future, 
I know all is well when I'm aligned in the moment. So in the moment is when you're creating the future. So yes, we see the future. The visionary sees the future, but in the moment we are acting, we are presentably here. We are doing, we are creating now for the future to come. So this is what spirit is saying is don't worry about others. I, I see you might have a desire. Some of you could have children. You don't have to have children, but some of you could just have a desire to give. I know for me, a passion of mine is giving. I don't know if that's like a Capricorn thing, but a passion is to just give. It's what makes me passionate. Some people be like, really, you want to just give it? Yeah. And so that actually is what allows me to be abundant is because the universe blesses those who become a fountain to others who are constantly giving, 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 giving and sharing and sharing. So I do see that you're attracting more abundance in your life for you and the people around you. And the last thing I want to say deck four is fulfillment, true fulfillment. We have the four of cups in reverse, which is dissatisfaction. And so you're coming out of this tasteful event or place in your life. And there's nothing but bright stars that I'm seeing, nothing but bright lights, nothing but the sun, nothing but happiness and joy, nothing but your heart's desire. It's not too good to be true. It's good to be true. So it's when it's good, it's true. And that is the case. And you we're learning that even more. You know, we say it's too good to be true. What does that even mean? When it's good, it's true. When it's good, it's God. When it's good, it's source universe. So be open to good things happening because you are manifesting that, including a life partner for those of you who have not met, or I guess you can say just in general, have met your soulmate. And that's a true, true soulmate. So regardless, it's exciting news. And I'm really, really excited to be able to share it with you. So if you guys did choose number four, this is your reading. If you guys want more readings off the grid, you can find that at the tarotchest.com. Thank you guys so much for being here with me and allowing me to guide you on your journey. Until next time, love and light.